really quick before we get into what devlog 18 is going to be about i just want to tell you guys how development's been going i won't take too long in this but development's been going very well i've been working on a lot of huge sweeping changes to the mod pack to make it a lot better performance wise visual wise a lot of things like that and i'm very excited to show you guys many things throughout these next few devlogs which i've already planned 19 and 20 and hopefully a 21 we'll see um i want to do more devlogs than previous updates hello hello guys as you guys saw with that little introduction health bar cool right so i'm gonna be showing you some things in the config we're bringing quite a lot of config in this update what does that look like well you can go back to the old one i can't guarantee it will stay forever supported maybe what's the lock on doing there that's for later in the video anyway interface theme color which through this you got about eight color options as of now that could change i just added three more this morning so maybe i'll add some more pretty simple to add but as you can see here scrolling through all that orange cool little color options you can go ahead and slow down the video if you want to see those interface theme bar color is in fact each of the bars you can color them to your liking you could switch all of these options as you wish energy bar color from the form that of course will make your blue energy bar or whatever color it is based on the form uh it's very not functional right now it'll work when the update comes out <laughs> interface text color of course you could change your text color just rotate through all of these options choose whichever ones you want you got yellow purple ruby red diamond blueberry hack in the matrix colorful darker dark light and default so interface customization options section is a section where you can change the opacity which is how see-through something is we'll go ahead and leave it at one gy scale you can go ahead and scale things down the hot bar is running away but you can turn off health bar animations if you don't want to see it animating because it's all stinky and you just want it to jump around and you can also change the animation rate which is how fast it goes so you can make it go just go meow meow almost instantly but i like to keep it default health bar show percent you could turn off those little percent signs next to your drain and your valve you can also toggle drain and regen if you just want to get rid of them i like them however you can also go show only percent that's nice um interface toggle options section contains some things like turning off health energy stamina all of these little options here and bar visuals which i will fix the position of uh is those little lines on the health bar hey there i'm gonna go ahead and show off release so as you can see if i go ahead and drop to zero percent release it goes down gradually animated of course and if you i charge up you can see it um it goes up nice little effect there while it's charging your battle power will go up with it naturally um that thing i'd like to mention uh transforming into a form don't mind the bug that just happened there but as you can see the bar will just build up it will be the color of your form just like the energy bar two things i still have to get working however i also want to mention instant transformations will be added this update probably to level six of forms um obviously certain forms like god and primal uh, and blue by extension a ascend to god for any other race besides saying well uh private at a different level undecided but it might not even be level six we'll see we are adding instant transformations this update though so that's cool so um but that was a good little coverage of the health bar there's some other things i want to mention which i'll go ahead and show so i am at max stats okay what would happen if i don't know maybe i wasn't at max stats if i was at let's say twenty thousand in all stats oh my health bar and energy bar and stamina ball bar are all smaller why is that well whenever you raise your stats or change your stats at all they increase from a certain value if you have no stats what will happen is it will bug out <laughs> it will uh that's the default size you're looking at so as you increase your stats that bar is going to get slightly bigger as you go up it, it it's a um it's a percent increase but you will get an entire like chunk of health bar at one time which looks like that right there so a yeah, pretty neat system i was that was like that was the first thing i coded on this because that's uh something you've seen like dark souls elden ring kind of thing 
I love that kind of thing. So I hope you guys like that. I might add a config option for that, but I probably won't because it took like... a couple hours code. Anyway, moving on. As you can see, the hotbar is the same color. Why is that? Well, we're working on changing the entire interface to be a certain theme, which is the one in the top left, but a little, I don't, I don't like that theme. Okay, well, go ahead and switch between all of these color options. Anywhere you see this color theme, maybe some ex exceptions, depending on how uh, difficult it is to apply the coloring, but the plan is you'll be able to color all of these individually, all these little things individually. You'll be able to color, you better change the opacity, the scale on all of them, or you could scale them all at once. Um, there will be tons of options, and we are going to be reskinning this, the uh, the stat menu, uh, everything that's in there will be reskinned. So that's something you guys can look forward to. Um, when's the update gonna come out? I'm not telling you. Well, we don't have a release date. Um, it's still very much in development. This this is some stuff like I just finished fixing up the character render. I didn't even mention that. The character render's up there. That took a long time to get work. So the character will change depending on what you're wearing as well as your form. I mean, it's 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 just your character. It's the same as the escape menu character and your inventory character. It will change depending on what you're wearing. And yeah, mess with all the con mess with all the config options. Do whatever you want with it. Health bar is as customizable as we could possibly make it. We're still working on some things. There's still some bugs to work out, but I just wanted to get this to you guys as soon as possible and show you what it looks like in game. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this coverage of the health bar. I'll go ahead and talk about some other things, show you guys some other things, and we'll get out of here. A really quick note about pretty much everything seen in this video, health bar, or lock on, cursor, and crosshair. All of that was designed by our great designer, Munchkin, who's been working with me extensively to make all the user interface changes and help me decide how to do certain things, as well as just literally designing them. Like, he drew them. I didn't, <laughs> I'm not an artist myself, so that was, that was all him. Uh, another update about the status of uh, development. So I've made some big changes to the mod pack. Um, as far as removing some mods, we remove fast craft and better FPS. You can of course still put those in your own mod pack if you wish. Um, I did some testing. They didn't seem to help out too much to have in the mod pack release, but maybe we'll add them back in the future. Maybe we'll add them back before this update even comes out. We'll see. Um, removed Apollo library, Apollo core. They just added uh items and blocks and did some small things that can be done in any mod so that's cool got the dogo here thing chilling um so those mods are removed we're, we're giving custom bcs a little update we're giving custom bcs an update uh there's some cool changes in that version where uh make player data loading faster which is a pretty laggy thing in it um uh, but yeah we got a lot coming for you guys uh also recoding on time that's something that causes lag uh recoding it uh, myself it's gonna be called slide it's gonna be called playtime now you'll still be able to run on time slash on time for it but uh yeah it's gonna you won't lose on time it will import your playtime and have some new info that's always been recorded like uh i won't get into that later i'll post a teaser about that maybe later uh excuse me but yeah back to the video so next i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys lock on so as you can see this is the default for lock on you can switch between 11 colors however all of these right here which is fairly cool. Um, there is some double colored lock-ons which also have different color variations. So there's some that rotate, there's some that expand and rotate, and all of these options. My personal favorite is definitely this one right here though. Um, this is a default Dragon Ball Z one which you can now color. So all of those lock-on options in mind, you could toggle the animation off, change the uh, opacity, change the scale if you so wish, all of those kind of options. And then, excuse me, we also have cursor. So right here, you could change your cursor. As you can see, whenever I click, it's animated. We're not done with the animation. Still some work to be done. This one will also be rotated 90 degrees, random thing. Um, so you can switch through these options right here. Um, you can go to your system default. This one, you know, fairly neat. This is the current uh, one on the live server. So all of that. And then you can also go ahead and um, rotate through cross crosshair style up here. So some options there. We're looking to add a few more. Uh, crosshair color. This one's black, by the way. You just can't see it because there's black there. Uh, so all these color options, same colors as lock on. Change the opacities. Change the scale. Render crosshair with lock on or not. Up to you. Um, the action menu can be uh, scaled. Change the opacity. 
some other options here show crosshair in action menu show lock on in action menu just random things that was this setting was already there but it's still there sound settings play sounds while the game is minimized play sounds while the game is not focused player settings is something not finished yet um but yeah these are just the sound settings i just want to mention player settings it just came to my mind um so yeah you do that and a random note the color theme for this will be applied to the hot bar and the, the stat menu just to be cohesive right um not many other so that's about it for this devlog um thank you guys for watching we will have more devlogs coming to you guys let me go ahead and switch the camera for you so we will have more devlogs coming for you guys in the future however for now this is all i gotta show you all i want to show you whatever it is um this update's going really well uh i'm really excited to show you guys everything everything me and the team are working on this update super excited super excited to get it out um this update has a lot of a lot of really cool changes you can see the health bar the hot bar just a lot of cool visual changes as well as a shit ton of config for everything you want to change about the server so if you want this to be different you can change it if you want the hot bar to be different you can change it whatever you want about the server can be adjusted to your likings obviously there's exceptions but we're working on making it as configurable as possible working on helping out people with low-end computers i got a crappy little uh girlfriend's macbook over here got a crappy little laptop with an i3 fifth gen in it so <laughs> running on some low-end hardware to make sure that it's as optimized as can be obviously you're not gonna be cranking out hundreds of fps or maybe well i don't know i mean minecraft itself is pretty much the baseline that i'm trying to reach trying to make our auras our particles all of that as light as possible on your systems so you guys can run the mod pack to your best um there's a lot of cool changes though um I'm excited for more devlogs hopefully there will be many devlogs working on a we're we working on a devlog 19 right after this um probably just showing more interface stuff for you guys um you will probably have a 20 21 maybe um but no promises on that you know uh no estimate on the release date not going to give any info on what movies we're having but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the devlog if you have any uh, input on anything I showed, let me know. It's still in the process. Nothing's finalized yet. So let me know. Cool uh, health bar, huh? Peace out.